Gippsland Grammar is a co-educational independent school, Anglican independent school, um, from three years of age through to 18 years of age, with three campuses, two here in Sale and one in Bairnsdale. Um, so we're catering for over 1,040 students at the moment. Uh, yes, so we have a one-to-one -one, um, program with all of our students here and also down to year five in our junior school. So every student has their own device. Um, we're running a very large and extensive network across the school, which is accessed in every single class just about. And, uh, and the technology is integrated into, into everything we do and it's part of the learning process for all of our students right through the school, even in our kindergartens. Uh, my wife and co-director of the company actually went to Gippsland Grammar as well and so did her dad. Um, so we've always had a real soft spot for Gippsland Grammar and it's, it is one of the most respected schools in Eastern Victoria. It was just a great fit for us and the thing that struck me when they first contacted us to look at this project was just the enthusiasm they had for renewable energy and just finding a really good solution to educate the children as well. Hi, I'm Chris Beckman. I'm the business manager at Gippsland Grammar. I'm responsible for all non-tuition functions of the school. We went through our energy usage model really closely with Gippsland Solar. We looked at a very specific calculations to try and work out what the best system was for us, uh, not only in terms of generating power and trying to put some of that back into the grid, but also reducing our power consumption. Uh, we came up with a model which we think suited our school particularly. That was quite difficult to do considering that we ha don't have students 180 days of the year. Uh, we have a lot of school holidays and our power usage really peaks in consumption uh, during school times. From our initial assessment it was very clear that they actually would benefit more here um, by replacing two and a half thousand of their lights with LED, uh, reducing their consumption and therefore reducing the size of the solar system we install. Um, so overall their investment was lower and their interns were higher. Gippsland Solar really helped us do that. They, they talked us through what we would need to achieve, how we could map it throughout the entire school and claim the energy efficiency rebates which are really important to make it financially viable for us. Uh, they pretty much manage that project from go to woe. Uh, the added advantages for the LED lights that we never, th we never really thought of when we were looking at it is now we don't have maintenance guys up on ladders changing uh, the fluorescent light globes which are blowing on us all the time. So we've saved ourselves hours in, in, in maintenance labour there as well. Air schools are a unique environment to work in. We have various obligations under the Child Safety Act. Uh, we have students that we can't disrupt, uh, students that were doing exams at the time. So it was a, a very challenging environment for external contractors to come in and do work. Uh, we communicated those requirements to Gippsland Solar and they were completely understanding and they worked with us to design a project schedule which really fitted in with our, our unique constraints. Well, the most unique thing, I suppose, is that they gave us a couple of weeks uh, notice to go ahead, but we had to have it installed during school holidays. So thanks very much to Gippsland Grammar for the challenge. <laughs> um, but our guys were totally up for the challenge. You know, we, we set everything up, ordered all the gear in the last week of school. Uh, my team of 13 guys came in uh, the last day of school. They stayed in the region and they just worked so hard. They worked some long days for two weeks. And we wrapped up and cleaned the whole site on the Friday before school came back. Um, I have it on good authority that Gippsland and Grammar were sitting around saying would they get the job done in two weeks and the, the uh, general opinion was no they wouldn't um, but my guys were able to step up and deliver and finished product wasn't just done in time but done to a very high standard. I guess what sets Gippsland Solar apart from perhaps other installation uh, companies would be this is, this is not our first big project. Everyone knows where they need to be, uh, when they need to be there and how we're going to achieve it. Uh, you know from logistics from getting you know, product on site um, through to you know, the final uh, commissioning of the systems and, you know, and the aftercare. You know, Everyone has a very particular role and everyone understands their role as well. Yeah, all the tradesmen on site were fantastic to work with. They were high energy, smiling all the time, really happy to show us the work that they were doing. Um, it was a real pleasure to go up and see the guys really putting in 100% to get the job done. Uh, it, was just, it was just a pleasure to have them on our campus. They were amazing. They, uh, the, the whole project was, was done seamlessly during the school holidays. They understood the environment that they were working, which was a school environment. Um, they knew that they had to get the project completed whilst the students weren't on site and uh, they managed this without, without any issues whatsoever. So they were magnificent to deal with. Quite often I'm asked by parents when they 
uh, bring students to the school about our sustainable building practices and um, when they saw that the solar panels were going up and when we were able to describe to them the benefits um, in terms of energy savings and also cost savings, they were thrilled. And uh, the fact that they can drive down the driveways at uh, junior schools and here and see the solar panels, I think they're quite proud of what the school's done and very, very supportive that we're, we are strategically looking at sustainable options.